Hello everybody, today we are going to be jumping into a pretty intense lower ab workout. This abdominal workout is basically going to target your entire core, but it specifically is going to really work those lower abdominal muscles if you do the exercises correctly and the hourglass. So it's going to work the sides of our waist. So we have a pretty fun workout ahead of us. Make sure you're nice and stretched. You know, I love doing lateral side stretches, nice cat and cows to warm up the spine, get some movement. Good. Just do whatever stretches feel natural and organic. I love obviously cat to cow, downward dog, all that fun stuff. So just take a few deep breaths here and get ready to go into a little hover in just a bit. So tuck the toes, and then whenever you're ready, pull up from the core to lift your knees off the mat. And then go ahead and push back into an easy downward dog. Stretch out the calves here, maybe walk your dog. Again, whatever feels organic. And then maybe you can lift up one leg, open the hip, maybe take a few hip circles here. And then the other leg. All right, guys, get ready to come down onto our backs. And we're just going to make sure that we're pressing the pelvic bone down so there's no space between the back and the mat. And we're gonna go into some simple crunches here. So throughout this entire workout, I want you to actively push your belly button into your spine. There should not be any space under your back. And that's how you know you're doing the right exercise. So think of having a string attached to your chest here. Instead of crunching your neck into your chest, I want you guys to lift your head and neck up in the shoulder blades. Using the core, as always. All right, now we're going to go into some heel touches only on the right side. So really exhale on the crunch here, and I want you guys to feel it in that right oblique. So to crunch, inhale to center. To crunch, inhale to center. Good, guys. Make sure you're breathing and pushing that low back into the mat. Good. And then get ready to switch sides here. So the exact same movement, but on the left. Again, exhaling as you crunch. Really, really, really squeezing that left oblique here. We only do each exercise once, so really give it your all. I want you guys to feel nice and sore. We love the feeling after doing these workouts, so bear with me. It's less than 12 minutes all together. Okay, now we're going to go into some opposite knee to elbow, or yeah, <laughs> opposite knee to elbow lifts on the right side. So we're going to lift up that right knee and bring the left elbow towards that knee. Again, really crunch into that oblique. And then whenever you come back to the mat, I want you to actively push the low back again into the mat. And I don't want you to flare your ribs open and to create an extension. Good. And then we're just gonna do that on the other side. So this time we're going to be bending in our left leg and our right elbow is going to go towards that knee. Crunching that left oblique. They should be pretty sore right now, so really just breathe. Have fun with the movement. Just a few more. Good guys, now bring those legs overhead and we're going to go into some straight leg bicycles. Once again, I know I sound like a broken record, but push that low back into the mat and really, really twist here. Make sure your legs are nice and long. They can have a teeny tiny micro bend in them, but really think of having length through those legs. Good. Now, this one is so fun. You're going to go ahead and lift your legs to a tabletop and you're just going to open the legs to the side and then squeeze them together. Whenever you squeeze the inner thighs together, I really want you to squeeze from the abdomen as well. Mind to muscle here, squeeze that lower belly as you bring the legs in. 
I love this one. This is so good for that lower belly. And now we're just going to go into some regular old bicycles. Nice and slow though. I really, really, really want you guys to focus on the squeeze of the oblique and pushing the low back into the mat here. So twist, exhale as you twist, inhale to switch. <sighs> inhale, <sighs> inhale. Good guys. Not too much longer here. Whew. Good. Now we're going to go into a little uh, variation. We're going to bring opposite knees in and then bring both legs in together. So to the right, to the left, and then both legs towards the middle. This is a tricky one. So really pull your legs into your chest using your abs. We're almost done with this exercise. This is a toughie. <sighs> Good. And now we're going to sit up and we're going to do a little cr crunch kick variation on one side. So lean back and then squeeze that core to come up. This one is a burner. I was really feeling it. This is one of those exercises that just tones the whole core. You know it's working. It feels so good. So just breathe and switch sides. So exact same thing, but on the other side. When you come back, really connect the ribs and hips together. Don't feel it in the low back. Good guys. Halfway there on this side. You can do it. You're so strong. Just a bit more. Good. Now we're going to go into a little variation. We're going to twist to one side in our C curve and then lift the arms up, keeping the ribs together. So exhale to twist, inhale to center. Exhale to lift the arms up, inhale to center. And we're just going to alternate. Good. This is a bit of a coordination one too. I was getting a little confused there, but this one is so good. And again, as you bring the arms overhead, do not flare those ribs. That's the trickiest part in this exercise. Good. And we're going to do soldier pulls. So we're going to do it on the right leg. So nice, long, straight right leg. And then we're going to crunch towards that right side. Good guys, exhale as you crunch. You know the drill. And then go ahead and switch to the left. So left side here. I was not vibing with my music, so I had to switch. Crunch to that left side. Really, really, really crunch it out. Good, guys. All right, now we're going to go back to the right side. We're gonna do an alternating crunch with the upper body. So we're going to crunch to the right and then we're going to crunch to the left. So only moving that right leg and crunching side to side with the upper body here. Long right leg, long arms and breathe. Good, and go ahead and switch sides. So left leg up. Crunch to the left, and then we're going to crunch to the right with that upper body, keeping the left leg nice and straight and going up and down. Good, guys. Just a bit more. You're doing so good. We just have a few exercises left, and we're going to be all done. Good. All right, now we're going to go ahead and go into some heel taps here. So regular old heel taps, but really actively push that low back into the mat here. Engage that lower ab. That's what's really going to elevate this exercise. And again, exhale as you crunch to each side, really feeling it in those obliques. Good guys. Now we're just going to crunch to that right side again. So right heel touches. 
I lied because I said we're only doing each exercise once, but this one we're gonna do twice because it's just so good. Really give these last exercises your all, tone that core out, and then get ready to switch to the left. Same thing, on the left side. Crunch that oblique, push those low abs into the mat. Good guys, not too much longer. Good. And then last thing here, we're just going to do diamond shape oblique crunches. So bring the legs into a diamond shape, you squeeze the glutes to open the legs and just waddle side to side, bringing the same knee to elbow. This is one of our last exercises before our little burner, so you can do it. This one is one of my favorites. I just love it so much. Remember to breathe and then get ready here to go into a nice plank. We're just gonna finish out our ab exercise by holding a plank. You can do it. We're not holding it for too much longer. Engage that core. Just a few more seconds, guys. You can do it. You're so strong. And then go ahead and push back into a down dog. You guys, you guys did so good today. Make sure you stretch and have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys. Bye.